Hello everyone, this is Arthur Morris and welcome to graphing equations of lines or nonlinear equations by using the table method. So to use the table method, uh, we would solve the equation for one of the variables. Normally that's the y variable. Then we will make a table with two columns and label those columns X and Y. After that, we, want, we will want to pick at least three values for the variable that was not solved for. Again, that would usually be at the X variable. Substitute those values into the equation for X and find the resulting values for the Y coordinates. Plot the points and play connect the dots. So if you need to pause the video here to copy that down, this will be a good time to pause. Okay, let's look at some general shapes of graphs, general forms of graphs. We call these parent graphs. The y equals x, where you don't have any exponents or any square roots on the x, x to the first power, would be a linear equation. It would produce a straight line. Y equals X squared is a quadratic equation. It would produce what we call a, par is a parabola. So it would make a U-shaped figure. Y equals the square root of X would make a single curve figure. And y equals the absolute value of x would make a V shape. So keep those shapes in mind when you're getting ready to graph the equations. All right, so let's take a look at a few examples. All right, this first one we have 2x minus y equals 2. Again, you would want to solve the equation for one variable, and normally that is the y variable. So I'm trying to get y by itself. So let's go through the steps here to get y by itself. Subtract the 2x from each side. Leaves us with negative 1y equals negative 2x plus 2. And then divide each side by negative 1. So that leaves us with the equation of y equals 2x minus 2. So that's the equation that we're going to use each time. Now we're going to pick three values for x, and they can be any values. I'm going to pick negative 1, 0, and 1. Now what we will do with those three values, we will take each value, plug it into that equation of y equals 2x minus 2, plug it in the place of x, and then calculate or simplify to find the value of y that goes with each one of those x values. That way we'll have three points, and you can always plot more than three points if you choose to, but we'll have three points and we'll have a general idea of how our graph looks. So if x is equal to negative 1, then y is equal to 2 times negative 1 minus 2. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, and negative 2 minus 2 would be negative 4. So when x equals negative 1, y equals negative 4. When x equals 0, y equals 2 times 0 minus 2. 2 times 0 is 0. 0 minus 2 is negative 2. So when x equals 0, y equals negative 2. And then when x equals 1, then y equals 2 times 1 minus 2. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. So I have the point negative 1, negative 4. It's the left 1, down 4. 
zero, negative two, so from the origin just down two places. And since that's the point that crosses our y-axis, that is our y-intercept. And then the point one, zero, and again, that is a special point because that's the point where our line crosses our x-axis, so that is called our x-intercept. And then you just play connect the dots through there, and there you go. Okay, let's take a look at another example. All right, in this one we have y equals 2x squared. Now, if you remember back to those parent graphs, the x squared produces a U-shaped figure. It's a quadratic equation. This equation is already solved for y, so now I just need to pick three values for x. And again, those can be any three values that you pick, that you choose. I'm going to go with negative 1, 0, and 1. Plug those three values in. So when x is equal to negative 1, y is equal to 2, parentheses, negative 1 squared. Now remember when you simplify this, the order of operations tells you to simplify the exponent first. So negative 1 squared is just positive 1, and 2 times 1 is 2. When x equals 0, then y equals 2 times 0 squared. So 0 squared is 0. 2 times 0 is 0. And finally, when x equals 1, then y equals 2 times 1 squared. 1 squared is 1. 2 times 1 is 2. So now I have the points negative 1, 2, to the left 1 up to 0, 0 at the origin, and 1, 2, right, 1 up to. Now remember this produces a curved or a U-shaped figure, so when I draw this, we'll have a little curve there, and that's our quadratic equation. That's our graph for that one. All righty, let's take a look at one more example. Y equals the absolute value of X plus 4. Now remember the absolute value of X gives you a V-shaped figure. So Y is already solved for, so I'm going to pick three values for X. I want to use negative 5, negative 4, and negative 3. And the reason why I use those values is that I see that I'm adding x plus 4. So if I have negative 4 plus 4, that will give me 0, which would give me a point on my x-axis, which I think will help me to uh, graph this v symmetrically. So if x is equal to negative 5, then y equals the absolute value of negative 5 plus 4. Negative 5 plus 4 is negative 1, but the absolute value of negative 1 is simply 1. If x equals negative 4, then y equals the absolute value of negative 4 plus 4. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. Absolute value of 0 is 0. And if x equals negative 3, then y equals the absolute value of negative 3 plus 4. Negative 3 plus 4 is 1, and the absolute value of 1 is 1. Okay, so let's plot those points, negative 5, 1, negative 4, 0, and negative 3, 1. So again, this gives me a V-shaped figure because it's an absolute value equation. So 
So we'll look something like that. Okay, so to graph using the table method, you want to solve for one of your one of your variables, normally that is y, and then you want to pick at least three values for the other variable, normally that's x, plug them in and see find the y coordinate that goes with each one of your x coordinates. Okay, I hope you found this video to be helpful. Thank you.